decided to make a quick vlog, and I just want to say, because I'm recording it for, uh, for history, for my own personal sake, is that I get called an F and B, or told to F off at least two, two, three hundred times a day by, um, these people who are here, not my men. But people who are here and you know I just started noticing it and it's really annoying but I mean I don't know why my men are lot uh, uh, we cannot stop them we cannot stop them or we would okay so my men can't stop them and they ruined my car I mean my car was fixed and then I don't know just it got ruined again and they stole a charger and now uh, I don't know the whole thing is just so frustrating when you try to do things when I'm trying to do things when I'm trying to get things done it's so hard to deal with uh, witches witches wreak havoc they wreak havoc. I said before, if you come in contact with a witch, run, uh, pray, really. Pray. Just pray to Jesus. Because they'll follow you or they'll do something. They have that astral travel. So they can do stuff. They can do just about anything. Witches can do just about anything. So, if you do come in contact with a witch and you know she wants to be your friend, then beware. Be, this is one of Mercy's men. Beware. That they, I mean, they wreak havoc. They wreak havoc. <clears throat> I try to do something and they just won't let it happen. They won't let it happen. They will not let it happen. I try and try. Jesus lets things happen, you know, because I pray to him. And, uh, but other than that, I mean, it just, the, the havoc they wreak is, like, so much. You know, so much. And I'm glad I don't work, because when I try to work, it, I mean, it was just a nightmare. And all I'm doing is taking a class, and they're interfering. All they do is interfere. Like, I'm trying to get the class on time, and they interfere. I try and try, and they interfere. So, I, I'm i just going to finish the class, and that's it. I mean, I don't know what my plans are next, but uh, and I'm not going to announce them, so they have time to interfere. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I thought I'd share. Let me get rid of this because this looks gross. Hold on a second. Let me put this over here. It's my ashtray. And my table. My little table is all gross because I ate off of it. And I had cigarette butts on there. So it's gross. I know. I'm going to clean it. I'm not going to eat off of it again until it's clean. My cigarette butts were on there. So I thought I'd share a drawing I did. Let's see if I can get it in there. Let's see. I think I can. Can you see it? Can you even see it? Is there clouds? A house? Let's see if I can get it. A man dancing and a dog and a bush. In the bush. Did the dog come in there? Did I get the dog? Anyway, I can't get the whole thing in there. I have to turn it around, turn the camera around, but I'm not going to. Anyway, that's just something I drew. It's absolutely not what I started to draw or what I intended to draw. Uh, but that's what came out. And I don't know what it's what the significance is, but 
it's, it's, I don't even know. I don't even know. So we'll see. We'll see. And, okay, so what else? What else? Um, yeah, I'm going to share the jacket I made and the apron and the pants I made probably next week because I have to iron everything and I don't have an iron at home anymore and uh, I don't know but I might make one more pair of pants before I go on to the sweat well I'll make the rest of the class projects and hopefully I can get to one more pair of pants so I I'm I'm hoping um, well, there's plans. Now I gave away my plans, and now I don't know. Anyway, anyway, uh, it doesn't matter if I give away my plans, because they'll just wreak havoc anyway. No matter what she does, they get involved and destroy it. Yep, yep. So they made a fiasco of my class but at least I was able to get some stuff done and she did very well in the class she just had trouble getting there yes anyway okay so what else what else so my men my men uh, someone is speaking for my men and it's really driving me nuts it's really driving me nuts I don't know who it is but this person is telling me, oh, we're your men. We'll be there for you. And you're not going to be alone in this world anymore. Blah, 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 blah. And it's not true. It is true. It is true. We will fix Marissa's car. Marissa is not going to have to pay a dime to fix her car. Marissa will have a car that is running. And she will be fine. Well, I do believe I will be fine because I trust Jesus. And he put men in my life to take care of me and look after me. <sighs> thank you, man. Really, seriously, thank you. Uh, what else? I don't know. I mean, my car doesn't work. They're lying to me. No, we are not. We are involved in every conversation she has now so that people don't get the wrong idea or lead her into saying things that really mean nothing but they want to exploit and make mean something much bigger. So we have, we have started getting involved in all of her conversations. It doesn't matter with whom, but with everyone. Alright, and on that note, I'm going to end this vlog, and I'm going to say I hope everybody watching has a great evening tonight and a great day tomorrow, and things go away. Alright, bye.